Through the rest of 2020 and into the new year, food banks and food shelves in Minnesota are expecting a 65% increase in demand. This is going to be a prolonged crisis, very likely over the next 18 months. That means families are watering down milk. That means moms are skipping dinner so their kids can have a little more. Second Harvest Heartland is already moving more food than ever before. We are in the highest gear we know. We're seeing a lot of new faces, a lot of people that can't believe that they need food. Loaves and Fishes Minnesota served 1.3 million meals in 2019. So far in 2020, they've already surpassed 2 million. We've seen triple, if not quadrupled, numbers of people needing food. Uh, we used to serve around 3,500 meals a day, and today we'll probably serve 12,000 meals. We're definitely seeing increased food needs, but I think we're also bracing for the real increase to come, and I think that feels like the unpredictable piece right now. The food group says they expect to see the effects with the extra $600 per week in unemployment benefits benefits set to end this week. Without those benefits, so many more individuals are going to face food insecurity. We know that the food budget is the first to get cut always when families are trying to make ends meet. The more that we can think about bigger picture policy solutions to get people the food and jobs and wages that they need, the more sustainable this all becomes. Heidi Wigdahl, CARE 11 News. To put it all in perspective, it's expected that an additional 275,000 Minnesotans will face hunger in the coming weeks and months. And all the organizations that we mentioned are in need of support, either volunteers or financial donations. We do have more info on how you can help or resources if you need those at care11.com.